It's the Simon Brodkin Show. Build the location upstairs in his house. Here's your host, Simon Brodkin. Welcome, everybody. Great to be here. What a show we've got this week. I explain the coronavirus alert levels, or try to anyway. I investigate just how good a parent am I. And a six-month-old kid water skiing. Yes! So please subscribe right now. Click that box. It's easy, and let me in to your beautiful lives. Let's do this thing. It's been another best week ever. Unemployment soaring, fires raging across America, and then chief government boffins, Chris Whitty and Patrick Valance. You know the ones, they look like a couple of depressed thunderbirds. They told us that if we carry on as we are, then in November there will be 200 plus deaths per day. Three, two, one. We're all gonna die! Woo! We need to do something about this, and I say we start by getting chirpier chief medical officers. I mean, these guys, oh, November, really awful. As if bad news wasn't depressing enough. Let's have someone deliver it with some pizzazz. Get the lottery guy. Okay, let's release this weekend's rollover balls. If we carry on as we are, it's 200 deaths a week. Oh, do you hear that tone? Sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. That's how all the bad news should be broken. I mean, why rub in bad news by saying it all downbeat? You've six months to live. Oh, chuffed. If this virus is here for the long term, let's make a game show out of it. ITV1, Saturday night. Bolton, can we have your hospital admission? numbers please oh my god I've never been on the telly before uh, 4,500 no not 5,000 do I'm all nervous 45,000 admissions this week oh is that a good score you're in fourth place Bolton oh great but lockdown two is now here and I'm glad I mean I've still got 130 packs of bog roll left over from the first one so bring it on Let's get shitting! Conga, 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 conga. Lockdown 2 is here, and in true sequel tradition, it is nowhere near as fun as the first. Remember the first lockdown? Let's be scared. Oh my god, what is that thing? Let's look out for each other. Hey stranger, can I help you, mate? Let's follow the rules. Sorry kids, you can't go to grandpa's funeral. Days were filled with caring moments like this. Hey Arthur, it's Simon here at number 13. Yeah, is there anything I can get you from the shops? Yeah, sure, I'll get a pen. Lockdown one was a thing, you know, like dating someone who is into all that dominatrix stuff. Exciting, thrilling, different. Mm -hmm. Lockdown two just hurts. <coughs> the UK has moved from alert level three to level four, AKA shit your pants time. That's presumably why we need all the bog roll. Here's the UK coronavirus alert level classification system explained. <laughs> virus, what a virus? This is 2019, mate. <laughs> the Chinese have got a virus. <laughs> oh no, we've got a virus. Ah! Get off me! Ah! Ah, help! Get off me! It's so bad, we need to shut pubs an hour early. So we've gone from eat out to help out to stay in to save your next to kin. And from go to work to best work from home, but you probably don't have a job anymore anyway. To be fair, we did all get more relaxed. I hadn't washed my hands since July. And even then, I only sung the first line of happy birthday. And I've been a tad loose on the household rules, regularly letting 40 different families sleep over. Oops, is it really that deadly? If our Prime Minister can survive, he's clinically obese and has the underlying health condition of being a knob, surely everyone's safe. And now he's gone and got himself a personal trainer to help him run as quickly as possible away from any responsibilities and spend as little time as possible at home in his most recent marriage with his new kid. I mean, why break the rule of a lifetime and let one of his kids get to know him? Uh, maybe, maybe. I, I, I don't want to commit. Uh, hands, face, space, bugger off. <laughs> what a great client Boris is for a personal trainer. I and mean, most clients want to get ripped. Boris just wants to stay alive. I mean, fuck me. This man is our prime minister. I'm all up for eccentric, but I don't know whether the cardigan, flowery shorts and pair of tits combo quite works. Very few athletes go for it. Now it's time for Take Your Mind Off The Global Pandemic with something silly and fun. Woo! 
It's a six month old kid water skiing. Yay! Unfortunately, shortly after filming that, he lost control, ploughing through a group of swimmers, slamming into the side of a ferry, which in turn hit an oil tanker, causing America's largest oil spill in 60 years, untold environmental devastation and death. Take your mind off the global pandemic with something silly and fun. Everyone loves a kid on the internet. Not you, Prince Andrew. I mean, this kid Ryan has been raking in $20 million a year since he was six by reviewing toys. And more importantly, taking care of his dad, who by the looks of things has suffered a serious brain injury. 26 million subscribers. My wife says I'm jealous of him. I am so not jealous of that kid. Like he's opening toys with his dad, like not doing something creatively fulfilling, like sitting in his attic alone talking to his phone. I'd love to open toys with my kid. Whoa! There was a volcano! Thanks, Dad, you're the best! Parenting is just one of the many things that I'm brilliant at. I can't imagine a worse father as human being than you. Stick to the script. You are the most incredible, amazing father. Can I go now? See you later. I mean, I'm doing my best, but I've no doubt my kids will both have deep-seated psychological issues by the time they're 11 and will be seeing therapists throughout their teens. But the great thing about parenting, unlike, say, driving, when you get it really badly wrong, no one really sees it. A lot of people have been telling me they're struggling to look after their children during the lockdown. I personally haven't found it a problem. How are you getting on in there, guys? Good, thanks, Daddy. We can really use some water. They're lovely at that age. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please spread the word about the show. Like you are spreading the virus at the moment. Give it to all your friends and family. Comment, like, subscribe, and please stay alive. I will see you on next week's show. Cheers! I want that toy back! <gasps> it was your volcano! Whoa! Thanks, Dad! <laughs>